way too early in the morning. Let's go climb flat iron. This is where I really wish I would have brought change. All I got is... I should have done some homework where the trailhead is, where the trail is. I think I'll figure it out. It's kind of hard to miss. Been avoiding this trail for a really long time. Crowds, lots of elevation, but pretty empty right now. Doing it during the week. And I just gotta climb up to the top of that. No problem. different superstitions hiking houses tons of campsites out here signs everywhere and the main attraction flat at first but not for long gotta climb i think right up in there to the top should be interesting <laughs> over a mile in trail starts going up just enough to be really annoying going up about 400 feet about to go up a lot steeper probably should have had something besides coffee for breakfast but i got tequila with me i'll be fine okay about two miles in i don't know seven eight hundred feet up it's getting real it's getting prettier a lot prettier that is the draw that Siphon Draw is named after. That chute goes up this way, and that's flat iron. That's the goal. Looks really close. It's not. I should have stayed in bed. I should have stayed in bed. So I'm in the chute in Siphon Draw. This is really cool. It's really cool. Pretty slick too, even when it's dry. So watch out for that. Gotta climb up this. And flat irons over there. It's more fun than I thought. Yeah, it gets a little tricky after the shoot. Uh, my inclination is always to go straight up, but it's not always the right way. No trail, really clearly marked here. Take your time, look around for Cairns. Pick the path of least resistance. It looks like it won't get you killed. I don't know if I go there or if I go there. We'll see. He seems to be follow the wash. Don't climb up on the sides. So just down in this. Up and around. Working so far. I think I'm only halfway up. Doesn't look that far, but it is. 1,700 feet up. Only a thousand left to go. It's right up there the whole time, just taunting me. It's a long way down. It doesn't look that far away. I feel like I've been saying that for a while now.
getting really close. A lot of loose rocks here. Be careful, don't knock any loose on somebody's head. Fairly easy to do, actually. Lots of different used trails. There's spray paint in some spots. It's pretty apparent. Just pick what looks best for you. Go that way. Doesn't look good. Look around. Find a different way. Just got to get up there. I think I come up over here. And then walk over there. That part should be flat. It is the flat iron. Piece of cake. I just climbed up that. I don't know if that was right or not. I hear voices over there. But I don't want to go over there. So I'm gonna go up here. No idea if this is right. No idea. Almost three miles in, about 2,500 feet up. It's really steep right here. Uh, loose rock off the trail more than I'm on it. You feel like an idiot when you see it. If you're like me, you look straight forward and go. And then you turn around and go, oh yeah, the path didn't go that way. I do that all the time. But it's right here. The flat iron. You're not so bad now, are you? Of course I'm not there yet. And you still gotta go all the way down there. You suck, flat iron. That's flat iron. Now let's try fifty twenty four. Right there. Top of 5024. Um, good views. Flat iron right down there. We have a weaver's needle right here. And four peaks over there. Really nice views. It's worth it right now. Still got to get down. My car is, uh, I don't know, down there somewhere. Those mini houses. Yay. So that's siphon draw on hill 5024. A couple of tips, leave early, bring change. $10, it says seven on the website, but self pay station was 10, only had a 20, so that sucks. Go at the right time. I, I recommend early in the morning, keeps you in shade for most of the hike. I started getting in the sun around 11, past people going in at noon, 
would not recommend that. It's really hot right now. Overall, it took me about six hours, six miles, 3,000, well, 2,900 feet of elevation gain and loss out and back. That's including Hill 5024. I think Flatiron was around 2,700 feet, 26, somewhere in there, elevation gain. What other tips? I'll wear the right shoes. The rock in the chute is very slick. I'm, I'm used to slick rock in Utah. That's grippier than this stuff. This stuff is slick. So wear shoes that are good, good traction. Trails well maintained up to the chute. When in doubt, once you get above that, follow the wash. Uh, that seemed to be the right way to go. There's supposedly some wall that's tough to climb up over. I'm not sure if it was this spot. I think I accidentally passed it. If that tells you how big of an obstacle it is, but I guess it depends on what you're comfortable with. I'm trying to think of what else. Bring plenty of water, no water on the trail. Other than that, not sure what else to say. Really fun hike, one of the toughest in the valley and glad I got it under my belt. If you haven't checked it out, go give it a shot. Now I remember what I was gonna say. If you got bad knees, bring knee braces. I don't know what it was about this hike, but my knees were killing me on the way coming down. It took me longer to come down than it did to go up. Anyway, I should probably watch the road. Not that I'm driving. No, I wouldn't do that. That's not safe or smart.